What's up, everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Well, today I want to do something that is a little bit different, and um, I'll tell you guys where it stemmed from. So a lot of times when I'm sitting down talking to a new client, or just in general talking to people about macros and calories, I get so frustrated, and it's like you 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 can't explain to them what you're saying. It doesn't it doesn't fucking it doesn't sink in no matter what you say. So they come to me and they say, well, Jerry, here's, here's the deal. I'm having a hard time losing weight and, you know, like, I, I feel like I'm, I'm doing everything and I'm working so hard and fucking, like, you know, they have everything. Like, they're perfect, right? And then nothing could possibly be off because they're doing everything perfect, but their body's just not responding. So I say, okay, like, well, macro-wise, what are you taking to macro-wise? And they tell me the macros. And I look at them and I go, okay, well, you know, they could be taking, they could need that much or that little or whatever. And I say, okay, where did you figure out these macros from? And... There's a bunch of these macro calorie calculators online. And every single time someone goes and does one of those fucking calculators, I guarantee you they'll be sitting in front of me and telling me about how they fucking calculate everything and they hit all their fucking macros, they do everything right, and the shit is still not working, right? I said, okay. So when I try to explain to people about how these caloric calculators can't calculate wow that's a that's a tongue twister caloric calculators can't calculate your individual metabolism and how your body truly works they just look at me like well it, like what do you mean like you know this is what people use and i'm like no it's not so each calculator varies from um depending place to place where you use it but all of the calculators are 100 percent wrong all the time i have never seen a calculator actually calculate somebody's macros and calories perfectly not yet okay so to hammer this home and i just get sick of repeating myself i get tired of saying the same shit so i'm like i'll just literally make this video so i can just literally take this video and then send it to someone in an email or if i could text or whatever so they can watch this and hopefully they'll, they'll understand this so i do not track my macros okay i don't need to track my macros my food is made for me from nutrition solutions it's already portioned out and i eat the same things every single fucking day day in and day out whether it's a different type of food or whatever. It doesn't matter because the macros are already calculated out and they're all even every single day. And my wife is the same exact way. We literally eat the same way every day. It's just what we like to do. And as a result of that, it makes it very easy to control your body. There's only so many variables. So my body weight walking around is 205 pounds. I, I fluctuate between 203 and 205. If I push it, I can bring my weight down to like 195. But I have to increase the cardio a little bit like I'm pushing it. But to actually just maintain my weight and not push it one way or the other, 205, that's where I stay. That's where I maintain doing what I'm doing now. And I've been doing this since uh, the Olympia because I went back up for the Olympia to 230. September came back down. So September, October, November, December, January, February. So five months, I'm able to maintain my weight. And if I want to put weight on, I can do it. If I want to take weight off, I can do it. Like I can control my body. I do not have a damaged metabolism. Okay, I only do four days of cardio for about 30 minutes a clip. I'm not pushing cardio. I train four days a week with weights and I maintain my, my physique by eating the same foods, macros every single fucking day. And I always have abs. I never don't have abs. And I go into my fitness pal. I say, okay, I don't even know what I'm taking in, but I do the same foods every day. Let me plug everything in. Blah, 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 blah. 1900 calories. Okay. It actually comes out to, let me get the exact numbers for the macros too. So it comes out to, um, this is nutrients. Yeah. So it comes out to my total daily goals right when i or, or what i'm taking in every day right is 193 protein 169 carbs and 54 fat right it comes to um the calories it comes to a total of 1930 calories okay that's what i take in to maintain 205 pounds so to say that um what i'm doing right now would be wrong would be a bullshit statement because I'm maintaining my weight. I'm doing exactly what I want to do and I'm not damaging metabolism. 1900 calories is where I live at and I don't even have to think about it. Okay, cool. So next what I do is I go to these calculators. I took four different calculators. One was from um, bodybuilding.com because that's a popular one that people use. And a couple other ones were from different ones that I found just right on the first page because most people when they Google, they're going to grab what's on the first page. Oh, cal cal calorie calculator and they just use that one. So I'm like, these are probably the ones that people are using. They're not going, let me go on page five of Google and find a better one. They don't fucking know. They're just using those first ones. So I used the first few ones, and I used the bodybuilding.com, which was the um, the um, popular, I'd say it was the popular one. 
And the results that I got with those, I'll put up screenshots so you guys can see them, were each time, you know, this one was actually 2,976 calories just to maintain. So it says if I wanted to lose fat, 2,300 calories. If I wanted extreme fat loss, 1,700 calories. And I went, well, first of all, if I took in 2,900 calories for maintenance that this thing says, I'm going to get fatter. Okay? It's over 1,000 calories more than I'm taking in right now, and I'm maintaining my physique. Fat loss, 2,300. Well, 2,381. So let's just run it up to 2,400. So they're telling me I could lose fat on 2,400. If I ate 2,400, I would gain fat because I'm maintaining at 1,900. And extreme weight loss, 1,785. So let's round it up to 1,800 calories. So it's still extreme fat loss is below what I'm doing now by 100 calories, but they dropped from 2,300 calories down to 1,700 calories. That is a drastic drop very quickly. To me, that's cutting too many calories all at once, but that's what this calculator is telling people to do. The other one, um, maintain weight, 2,800 calories. Um, mild weight loss, 2,500 calories. Weight loss, 2,300 calories. Extreme weight loss, 1,800 calories. Again, this one's very close to the other one. It's only off by very, very little. Um, we come over here. This one's the Mayo Clinic. It says, um, if I'm inactive, if I'm inactive, like I don't fucking work, I just lay in bed all day, 1,950 calories is my maintenance. If I'm somewhat active, 2,100 calories is my maintenance. If I'm active, which I am active, and that's what I plug everything in, in, it says 2,300 calories is my maintenance. And if I'm very active, which, let's face facts, you know, most days I am very active, 2,700 calories. So again, even the Mayo Clinic's um, calculator, and this one is um, the bodybuilding.com one, basically said 2,723 calories for my maintenance. After plugging these in, they were very close. But what I realized was that I don't know what formulas these are based on. They're very similar as far as the numbers they come out. But I would say that I don't have a super fast metabolism. I definitely don't have a slow metabolism. But I'd say I have an average metabolism where I can control how I look by how I eat. Now, how many of you out there would say that your metabolism is like mine? Maybe some of you, but a lot of you would have either a slower, I wouldn't even say, well, if you have a faster metabolism, you obviously eat more. But many of you watching this have a slower metabolism. So if you punched in your stats in one of these calculators and it gave you the calories and macros based on their formula, because your metabolism is actually slower than mine, even if you were doing like my formulation for my maintenance, you would probably need to bring the calories down a little bit lower just to maintain because you have a slower individual metabolism. Now, if you follow their calculator, not only would you not be maintaining, or losing fat, you would be gaining fat at a very accelerated rate because you would be about 12 to 1300 calories too high based on their formulas. And this is the problem. People don't know where to start, so they go online, start pumping, punching these numbers, and you just assume, hey, you know, this is like, this is just normal, right? This is what everybody does, and this is what's going to help me lose weight. And I guarantee it. Within a couple weeks, I'm not getting the results I want. I'm not really seeing the scale. I'm not seeing this. With most of my clients, I'm not going to say all the time because it takes them sometimes a week or two to actually get settled in and figure out how to fucking calculate their macros, which a lot some beginners don't know how to do that. But if you're an advanced trainer, an intermediate trainer, you wind up hiring me, within that first week, you're going to see results. Why? Because I found a fucking formula that works for the individual, and it is not these fucking calculations. These calculations online... Can, and I don't want to say I found. I created what I'm using on myself and I use with my clients. That's why we do it faster. That's why we lose weight faster. That's why we increase muscle faster. It is based on the individual. Because this is a general guideline, like these calculations actually are for people at that body weight with faster metabolisms. While you're eating 2,700 calories to maintain. Most people don't have that fast a metabolism. Matter of fact, most people that are going to try to lose weight have damaged their metabolism over time by not working out, eating a lot of garbage, overeating calories, putting on fat, hormones start to change. Your metabolism, I guarantee you 99% of you watching this, is slower than what these calculations are. So now what happens is you don't even realize. I know it's 1,000 calories over because I know how to calculate my macros based on what I know. And I can compare it to it. If you didn't know as an individual and you go out there and you use this calculator. Now, some people will be like, well, Jerry, you need to have a starting point so you can just adjust. Adjusting is one thing, but being a thousand calories over, how much do you think that person's got to adjust? Here's how the story plays out. 
The person says, I'm going to lose weight. They go online, they find the calculator. They punch everything in, it gives them a number. They start that number. Woo, crazy fucking excited. Can't wait. Monday, they start their diet. They're excited, they're motivated. Tuesday comes, motivated. Wednesday, I'm a little hungry, but cool. The whole week goes by, they go to their first check-in. Nothing happened. Hmm, no weight loss. Matter of fact, I'm up a pound. What the fuck? Okay, well, we need to adjust, Jerry. You think they're going to drop a 1,000 calories off that fucking thing first? No, they're not. They're going to go, well, how much? And they're going to look it up online. How much should I drop off this to lose weight? And they're going to say, well, if you're not losing weight, subtract 250 calories. They subtract 250 calories, but they're re-motivated because now they made the adjustment and this week they're going to lose weight. And they, Monday they're motivated. By Tuesday they're hungry. Meanwhile, you know, they're just kind of trucking along trying to figure as long as I keep hitting these macros, by the end of the week that scale is going to drop. The week goes by, they get on the scale, it's up another quarter pound. How the fuck is this possible? I cut 250 calories. Two weeks have gone by now, right? The third week, well, I'm going to cut another 250 calories. Now you're only down 500 calories when you are so 1,000 over. So you're still not losing weight because you're still 500 calories over what your actual maintenance is. Third week, you're in there, plug it away. Now you're frustrated. Now you're like, this fucking scale better move. The week goes by, you get on the scale, you didn't gain weight, but nothing fucking came off either. You're like, what the fuck is going on? Now you're pissed after three weeks. If you decide to go on a fourth week, many people, boom, that's it, they're done. This fucking thing doesn't work, my body's stuck, my genetics, fucking da da da. Every, every excuse in the book other than, hey, you know what, the formula's wrong, because you, you trust the formula. If they do a fourth week, they get in there, they're still cut 250 calories, they're still 250 over their true maintenance. They've subtracted 750 calories in three weeks, still 250 over their maintenance because 1,000 is what it was actually over, these calculations based on what they actually need. The fourth week they go in and they don't lose any weight, but they don't gain any weight and they are fucking done. If you put a month into something and nothing happens, I guarantee you're going to fucking walk away and be like, fuck this. So basically, you never even got to your true maintenance, let alone at a deficit, and you're putting all this work into it and nothing is fucking happening. And it's not your fault. Many people blame themselves. They talk about their body, their genetics, their physiques, all this shit that fucking, well, I took antidepressants once 20 years ago, like every fucking thing. But it's not your fault. The problem is these random fucking calculators are always fucking high. They're always way above what the fuck you need. Now, I don't know why the fuck that is, but it is a general fucking thing 99% of the time. If you use these calculators, you are starting from a point way above what you actually need. And I'm tired of these IF whammers talking about, well, you shouldn't eat any less than 300 grams of carbs a day. What the fuck? I eat 169 grams of carbohydrates a day. 169. I'm 205 pounds, healthy as fuck, feeling great. Why do I need to eat 300? Like there's all these myths out there based on these calculators. This calculator tells me I need to eat 300 grams of carbs to maintain my physique, but that's not true. My friend, Ani, you guys have seen her. She only eats like 500 calories a day. She's super fucking active. The girl never gets sick, sleeps like three hours a fucking night and does these fucking marathon workouts. Actually, she runs full marathons all the fucking time on top of it, does two cardio sessions, trains 10 clients a fucking day. Like you wouldn't believe the energy this girl has on 500 calories. And sometimes it's not even that. It's like a scoop of peanut butter and a fucking half an apple. And that's her fucking what she eats for the whole day. She eats when she's hungry. And this girl has muscle mass on her. She's fucking lean. She's fit. She's healthy. She's everything that science says cannot happen. I've actually had people tell me that girl's going to fucking die if she doesn't eat. Well, it's 13 years that I've known her. 13 years she's been in shape, never out of shape. Not once like the people talking about how she's going to die. They're fucking out of shape. Yet she's still kicking and fucking progressing and doing great. Interesting. So how the fuck is it possible that all of these people that are talking about how they know and calculations and science could be so fucking wrong about my body, her body, and millions of other people's bodies out there because they don't actually know what the fuck is going on. They're following some random formulas created from somebody they don't fucking know because they just trust them because some doctor fucking said so. Do you know how many fucking times my doctors have asked me questions about what I do? And they're like, they have no fucking clue. No matter how much experience they have, they have no fucking understanding of what the fuck we do in the bodybuilding industry. It is completely foreign to them. So these people, like, don't get me wrong, we need scientists, we need doctors, we need we need all this shit, but the problem is people that are trying to lose weight in the fitness industry, people trying to lose weight in general, 
They're talking about like, we haven't cracked the obesity code yet. Motherfucker, bodybuilders cracked the obesity code fucking 50 years ago. Every single year, year after year after year, bodybuilders, bikini athletes, figure girls, we have literally been dropping fat at accelerated rates for fucking 60 years, ever since the Mr. Olympia was fucking created, which I think was 1964, Larry Scott was a friend, any, it doesn't matter. But ever since bodybuilding had created those competitions, Ben and Joe Weider, bodybuilders have been able to get in shape. And I'm not talking about just genetic freaks. Every, we've seen fat people come down and compete. We've seen skinny people build up and compete. We've seen fucking teenagers compete. We've seen 85-year-olds compete. Everyone's able to get... Now, they may not be super shredded on stage like fucking pros, but they'll still come down 20, 30. Even if they drop 10 pounds to get on stage and still look like shit, that 10 pounds is what science is trying to figure out how to stop. I mean, how to, how to recreate. They're trying to stop obesity by recreating or, or creating a way to lose weight. What the fuck? We've been doing it for 60 years. Number one, we don't overeat. Number two, we exercise. Number three, we pay attention to the foods. And number four, we don't give up. We don't give up getting ready for a show. We don't quit. We fucking keep going. That is the key to fucking obese, uh, or to beating obesity. These calculations will not work, and you have to put in the fucking effort. That's all there is to it. So in closing, guys, remember, these general guidelines... They are not for you. I don't know who the fuck they're for. They're for people with lightning fast hummingbird metabolisms that can eat a thousand calories over their true fucking maintenance and literally maintain their body weight. Like these are people that can lose weight on fucking calories that some people bulk on. But that's not the fuck, that's not what we're seeing. That's like the made up fake person that these fucking formulations are for. I've never met a person that these fucking formulations work on. Not once. And I've seen formula after formula. And if you really dig into the formulas, you'll find formulas that are 1,000 calories over. You'll find formulas that are 500 calories under what your actual maintenance is. It's crazy how much they vary because this one will say, no, oh, this one's totally scientific. We did studies. This one's totally scientific. We did studies. You motherfuckers have been studying this shit for how long? And right across the board, there are fucked up numbers and you can't get your shit together after how many years of studying this shit? I think it's time maybe the scientists stop looking for a cure to obesity and go to the fucking gym and start friending actual competitive bodybuilders, or maybe start taking seminars from these bodybuilders that are talking about how they fucking get in contest shape, John Meadows, etc., people like that, because they've already cracked the fucking code. And you guys have been spinning your fucking wheels for 60 years, not doing a goddamn thing, and obesity's gotten worse. So just remember, guys, these fucking calculations are complete bullshit. I'm not saying that yours is going to be a thousand over, but yours, if you calculate it, is going to be inaccurate. And that is going to keep you from getting results, which will eventually over time frustrate the fuck out of you and you will eventually wind up quitting because you're not seeing what you want to see out of it, but you don't understand that that's not your fault. So I guess the whole take home to this is true macros, true maintenance is not in these calculations. And if you're using the calculations, you're not getting results. It is not your fault. Biosy Trending, we ran out of room on the card. I got to get another card. Biosy Trending at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. Biosy Trending.com is a blog. And remember, these calculators are bullshit bicep and we are out.